Hi Taurus, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Today we have another cool tarot reading. I hope you guys are all well, yeah. And today, Taurus, uh, it could be your birthday, it might be, right? And, uh, mm -hmm. and so for you guys, Venus is in Taurus, so uh, the sun is in Taurus. We're having a new moon in Taurus, so all this good energy for a lot of people, especially for you guys, right? So let's see what we have today in our reading for you guys and we're going to do we're going to do some oracles first mm -hmm. for Taurus please for Taurus and we start with the skull okay so maybe somebody got a haircut just kidding right so the skull talks about it can talk about transition and change right uh, that's very much like the death card it can also talk about grief and you know that's not really a funny thing let's see what else we have and we have uh, but the belonging card. So something ends here. Somebody could be in grief maybe, but it really looks to me like, uh, on the positive, the more favorable side here that, uh, somebody's transitioning you or your person, because these can be general, uh, they can be switched when we do general reading. So you or your person here is a transitioning, like a change, a transformation, moving out of something because they want to belong to you, right? and or belong with you or they feel like they do belong with you maybe this is an organization you want to uh you know you want to move into you that's you know that's new for you possibly because the skull can simply be transformation it's a transition it's very much like the six of swords we have the moon interesting so the moon is uh looming change that's really what that is and yeah, very interesting. It's also a surrender. When we see belonging, I feel like somebody wants to belong to you. But let's see here and let's let's get some more cards for Taurus, please. For Taurus, show me the energy for for Taurus. And we have the I forget what they call this card, but we have the witch kind of and the angel. And, uh, that, that card's a trip. That card is definitely about your intuition, your psychic ability. It can talk about, uh, things of the eighth house. This is Scorpio here, which is change and transformation. And we already saw the skull, which is, and the Pisces glyph is there. And both Pisces and Scorpio are super intuitive, right? And, uh, mm -hmm. they're not entirely the same, but they are both very intuitive water signs and uh yeah interesting the moon is there as well yeah and so the moon is uh cancer so it could be, all be water signs uh with this this is the false halo that's what that is the false halo sometimes it talks about somebody who's a hypocrite sometimes it does and sometimes it talks about using the energy uh from the dark side and the light side or it doesn't even it doesn't always have to be dark it can somebody could have learned something really kind of a, like a hard lesson i learned it can also be that um somebody's learning like their their intuition right the dark side the dark side and they're also you know trusting kind of like angelic wisdom over here let's see what else we have we have the garden of insights right here okay so the garden of insights is trusting your intuition as well. Mm -hmm. And I find this to be really interesting. And let's see what else we have. Let's use these cards here for Taurus. And we have seduction, attraction, flirting, dating, and hooking up, right? So, mm -hmm. <laughs> excuse me, somebody wants to see you and they feel like they belong with you. That's what that's all about. And they're trusting their intuition. They may be surrendering to it somebody trying to like maybe like not be with you or or not like not realize that you're so important something like that right not realize you're the one some people want to be in denial or they they want to ignore it right for whatever reason maybe they have to change their whole life to be with you or there's some type of extenuating circumstances the snake competition enemy clever look over your shoulder and the other woman so somebody might be the other woman in this reading they definitely could be with the seduction card mm -hmm. but the seduction card is also third party interference that's what it says here on the bottom of this uh this card yeah we see the uh you know they look like they're in the office and she's kind of you know 
getting it on with the boss. That's how it looks, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so, but definitely there's change here because of the transition card. Like there's something new, there's change and, and something kind of ends here because somebody wants to belong with, they, they feel like they belong with somebody. That's what's going on. Uh, and there is like passion in this reading. There is with that seduction card. Mm -hmm. There could be competition here because there could be third party interference. We have that with the seduction card. And then the snakes is the other woman down here. So for some, it could really be about that Taurus. Let's see what we have. It's definitely about love. We have the eight of cups. Yeah. Somebody like walks away from somebody they do in this reading. Mm -hmm. They look like they're returning to somebody from the past Taurus. Um, maybe somebody's trying to return to you. And, you know, interesting, my moon is Taurus. So uh, Taurus and, you know, your moon is always your feelings. And so, you know, when your moon's in Taurus, you don't usually like to, you try to hold on to, you know, a, somebody for a long time. You do. <laughs> Not to the point of craziness, but because Tauruses don't like change. No, they don't. It's a very stable energy. So when we see the stability then we know that, um, you know, they don't like change. They don't. And in this reading, we see justice and the chariot, the hangman, the world card. So we have four major arcanas here. And here is the world card. It's in a great place. It's showing up. These, this woman is, is naked, so I'm kind of covering her. But it's showing up in the outcome, Taurus. And, you know, this is some type of wish that you're getting in this reading. It's also about coming full circle maybe you have really matured or come full circle in some in some type of right and just come full circle because this does look like it's about love it really does and so mm -hmm, somebody could have matured you or your person the world card can talk about maturity it is about you know people kind of each person kind of getting through getting through the whole major arcana right starting with the fool so there's always lessons to learn this can, this can be uh, ending cycles, beginning a new cycle, etc. And uh, the Eight of Cups tops off the reading. We know this is walking away. Typically, it can be uh, being completely unfulfilled in a situation. The, the World card always suggests that now there's there's a happiness. There's I have what I want, or I've worked for this too. It can be I've worked for this. And the Eight of Cups is, I'm not going to stay and work for this, or or why should I, right? Because there's just not enough fulfillment there, emotional fulfillment. So we have the Five of Pentacles in this reading, and I find that to be, this is the root here. This is really interesting. Uh, and it's talking about some, somebody leaves something that's like emotionally unfulfilling because here's the Five of Pentacles to like to confirm it, right? To kind of support that. And here's the six of cups. So it may be somebody from the past, but whatever is being like really wanted in this reading and that somebody surrendering to is, uh, is about somebody very special with the six of cups. It could be an old friend. It could be an old flame, right? An old love. It definitely could be. And, uh, we have the queen of cups in the past. We'll get a card on her. And justice is reversed in this reading. Let's get a card on the Queen of Cups for Taurus. We have the Emperor. Yeah, so the Emperor showing up. This is somebody taking control of their life. Uh, somebody taking control of their life in love or using their intuition. Because the moon is here. This is intuition too. This is surrender and a looming change. But the Queen of Cups is about her intuition. Yes. And so is the Garden of Insights. Right? Yeah. Mm hmm. She's out there chilling because when she gets into the garden, she feels like grounded. And so she, she feels happier and a little bit lighter and she starts trusting her intuition when she's connecting with nature. And that's what, that's exactly what that can, you know, that can do justice reversed is this with the six of wands. This is recognizing that something, I don't deserve this. Or whatever I have, I, I, whatever I don't have, I deserve. Yeah, and in the environment, or the not the environment, but the concerning message, Taurus, is the Nine of Cups. So this is the concern for this reading. I want my wish. I have a wish. 
and I'm willing to walk away from something in order to have it, the eight and the nine of cups. Mm -hmm. Knight of pentacles showing up here, and we have it with, could be a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. In this reading, we have the emperor, can be Aries. We have a justice here is Libra. The hangman showing up could be Pisces. And we also have the chariot, and this is Cancer. So the world card shows up uh, as, as uh, not Virgo, as Capricorn, or it shows up as Scorpio. Yeah, because worlds, you're right, past lives, and, you know, Scorpio's about past lives, future lives, uh, the life we're living now. And the world card can be about time, because Kronos, uh, Kronos was Saturn, or he was the sun, I forget. But it doesn't matter, because not exactly, Saturn rules Capricorn. And Kronos means time, right? Chronological. So, mm -hmm. so they all have a, a they all have a Greek name and they have an Egyptian name, I believe. Uh, but let's see here for sure. The uh, Taurus is, um, excuse me, Taurus is is Greek, as is Kronos, as is Sagittarius, right, etc. Okay, so we have the Seven of Pentacles with the Death card with the Knight of Pentacles. There may be an Earth sign here. And this is, I wonder what I can transform to help me grow my garden, basically, kind of in a, right? So this is about an investment. We see the garden here. Somebody's going to put their effort into this. Uh, they want something to be very fertile. <clears throat> and this is wondering what's going to happen with a transformation. This transformation can be simply kind of moving away from something that's no longer fulfilling definitely could be, but it is to have this wish, no doubt. So in the environment, Taurus, we have the chariot. Why is the chariot there for Taurus? Why is that there, please? And we have the nine of pentacles. Mm -hmm. And so Taurus, in this reading, you know, you're really taking control of your life with these energies. There's completions in this reading, the nine, nine of cups, nine of pentacles. For some, you may be single and kind of breaking away from somebody. You definitely could be. And or becoming single. The chariot, take, overcoming, taking control of your life to win for a triumph. This is movement, the chariot. There's a lot of reflection in this reading about, about your wish in this reading, uh, Taurus, because you know, here you are knight of pentacles showing up. And so that's most likely you in this reading. And there just is, there's a lot of reflection here with the seven of pentacles and the garden of insights. It's all about reflection. And so is, uh, the, you know, the chariot is a number seven and all sevens are about reflection and introspection. So the chair, the hangman showing up, the hangman for Taurus, please. Why is that there? And we have the king of pentacles. There you are. Wow. And the magician reversed. So yeah, maybe you're breaking up with an Aries. We don't, we're not sure about that. No, we're not. There could be Aries in this reading for sure. The magician and the, uh, and the emperor both with the hangman. Look at that. There's a sacrifice being made here. Somebody could have been a player here. We have third, third party energy. Somebody could have been. We have third party interference, uh, a potential that's showing up here in this card and also the other woman. So somebody might be hoping uh, they're not going to, you know, we like to always keep it positive. Like when you're saying an affirmation, I feel like what's going on is you, you may be making a sacrifice here and hoping that possibly somebody else won't be a player or maybe you were a player, uh, a trickster possibly with that card there. It's possible. It's also in this reading, you know, this can be also, there could be a Piscean in this reading. We have the queen of cups and the hangman. This could be hoping that a Piscean kind of won't understand what's going on. Sometimes the magician reverse can be a real, like, like a real trick, a terrible trick. It can be hoping somebody won't be disempowered. The magician reverse, your powers have been taking, taken, taken. So, you know, with a sacrifice, somebody might care about somebody in this reading, maybe that they're leaving out five of pentacles, 
definitely could be. And in the potential outcome sits the world card Taurus. And uh, all in all, this is a really good reading though, because this, you're, it looks like your wish is going to come true in this reading. It does. And so, uh, and the astrology is there totally to support this. It really is new moon in Taurus, Venus in Taurus, the sun is in Taurus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so in the potential outcome sits the king of pentacles and the world card. We're going to get one more card, one more card there. And that's you most likely the king and you're showing up with the world card. It's such a, it's such a, like an achievement. That's what that is. Why is that? Why is the world there? Why is the world there? We're going to get one more card here and we have the devil with it. Wow. So there might be a Capricorn here, but this is achieving my, this is, this can be, I'm really achieving my, I'm going to have my wish. Um, I'm closing out cycles, but there's some feeling here of kind of, you might feel bad about somebody in this reading, or you might feel kind of stuck about somebody in this reading, or it could be getting your wish was really hard to do. Right. And Saturn was there to kind of kind of rain on your parade. It could be in this reading, but you know, the real thing here though, is that everything is changing here, right? The moon, this is looming change. And you're going to have your wish here with the world card showing up in the, in the outcome, the potential outcome. We're going to leave this reading here. Thank you so much for joining me here. God bless you guys. Get your psychic reading. They're accurate. I'm a Silva grad and we do them on the phone. They're lots of fun. And then at the end, we also do the the tarot reading, right? So you get two different unique insights. I do tarot readings unto themselves. I can interpret your chart. Yeah. And I'm going to have the Taurus Venus uh, video that I have, you know, put up for Venus entering Taurus. I will put that in the comments at the top. Thanks so much for joining me here. You guys, God bless you guys. And yeah. And I interpret natal charts. I don't feel like I finished that. Thank you so much. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe.